Hello everyone, welcome back to Pascal's Kitchen. Today we're going to make chocolate cake, a flourless chocolate cake that is ooey and gooey and delicious and it's just my family's favourite. My, all the family members in my, they just absolutely devour this, my son in particular. Um, he has been known to polish off half this cake at a time. Not highly recommended, it's very, very rich. You just need a small part, but it really is delicious and easy, easy to make. In fact, the entire thing is made in a saucepan, which is what we're going to do. The first thing we have to do is to melt the butter and sugar, and that's what we're going to do right now. So this is the fantastic thing about this cake. It's all made in a saucepan, really quick and easy to make. So pop the butter into the saucepan, and this is obviously pretty melted butter, I mean soft butter, and let that melt. And with this, we're going to melt it with the sugar. And you want to melt this enough, get it to the point where the sugar doesn't feel, there has not a granular feel in the bottom of the saucepan. This takes a minute or two to do. So just let it all melt and come together. And then make sure that as you're stirring around, you don't feel that granular texture in the bottom of the pan. There, you see how it's all lovely and melted now, the butter and sugar together. Now, you mustn't have too high a heat because we're going to add the chocolate, but after that, we're going to add eggs. And if the chocolate butter mixture is too hot, then that will cook the eggs in such a way that they become scrambled eggs, and scrambled eggs in the chocolate are not very tasty. Um, so you have to make sure when you add the eggs that it's not too hot. Right now, we're going to melt the chocolate in the butter and sugar. And this takes a few minutes. Be patient with it. Don't turn up the heat because otherwise you could get this sort of crystallized chocolate mixture in the bottom of your saucepan and that's not very nice. So I'm just going to keep stirring until it's all melted. Once the chocolate is completely melted, completely smooth in the butter and sugar, then we add the eggs. You need to beat up the eggs so that they're nice and well, well beaten. And you'll see once you add the eggs to the chocolate mixture, this will become much, much thicker and everything will start to come away from the size of the pan. I have here a nine inch square pan that is lined with parchment paper. And as soon as this is ready, we'll just pour the, big, the cake mixture into the pan and then we'll pop it in the oven. So this has cooled down a little bit. Make sure the best way to test, honestly, is to stick your finger in there. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but if it's very hot, then you know it's too hot for the eggs. But otherwise, you'll be good to go. So we are going to pour this in here, a little bit at a time. Whisk it together, stir it together the rest of the eggs and you'll see that this all thickens up it's hard to believe that this is going to be a cake but it makes the most marvelous cake and what I love about it is just one pan there, you see how it becomes gelatinous then you know you've got the right consistency Sure it's all well mixed together. There we go. And now I'm going to pour this into this prepared saucepan. Actually, I like to use a spatula for the last bits, just to make sure you have everything. You have to leave a little bit though, for those who like to lick a bit of chocolate out of the pan. 
there we go. Then just shake the pan a little bit so that it evens out just in an even layer. And now we're going to pop this in the oven, 325 oven, and it cooks for about 25 minutes. Here is the cake fresh out of the oven and it smells absolutely divine. It's just incredible chocolatey smell and aroma permeates the whole kitchen. It's really lovely. In fact, that's one of the ways you can tell that it's ready. So this needs to cool for a minute or two and then we're going to invert it and put it on that lovely cake plate and have some chocolate cake. Here is the finished chocolate cake. It's really rich, so a little goes a long way. It's delicious with a dollop of creme fraiche or perhaps a bit of yogurt or even some vanilla ice cream. All that's left for me to do is to wish you bon appétit. And you will find the recipe, by the way, in the link below. And I will see you very soon again on Pascal's Kitchen. Bye-bye.